Okay, so common core really has to do with the binomial binomial theorem and multiplying multiplying polynomials. Okay, so we're going to do the binomial theorem. Binomial means two, right? We saw that from Pascal's triangle, and we're going to do multiplying polynomials. So the date 2, 13, 18, right? Okay, so the first one's easy. That's just FOIL, right? Everybody agree? I mean, we know x times x is x squared, so we're just going to FOIL. Let's do a little bit of a review to get us into the hard stuff. So, you know, 8x squared minus 10x plus 12x minus 15. And I'll let you catch up, okay? Let you catch up with me, okay? I just, you know, I'm just foiling first, outside, inside, last. Or some people call it double distribute. Hmm? These two middle terms are the same, so they can be combined. So my grand answer is an 8x squared plus 2x minus 15. Right? I mean, easy. Thumbs up. Everybody agree? Piece of cake, right? Okay, example two is distribute. And when we multiply, we need to add exponents. So if I distribute, I'll get an 8, but I'll have a total of x cubed y to the fifth. Okay, make sure you know how I got that first term. I added exponents. I multiplied the coefficients, multiplied coefficients and added exponents, plus 20x squared y to the sixth. Multiply the coefficients and add exponents, plus 12x cubed, y cubed. All right, thumbs up. This is easy. This is stuff you know. You guys know this stuff from algebra, right? Easy stuff, okay? Um, example three, same stuff, right? Nothing new. Example three and number four, there's nothing new. I'm just going to do it. I'm going to get a 3x squared minus an x cubed <laughs> plus a 1x. How am I doing? Too fast? I'm okay. Minus a 6x. Oh, thank you, Renee. Minus a 6x, I'll put that right there. I like to line them up, right? I like to line up the ones that are the same. Um, positive 2x squared, I'll put that way over here. 2x squared, because I like to line them up. Makes it easy for me. And then minus 2. So when I combine like terms, I don't mess with the exponents. Don't mess with the exponents. Of 5x squared minus x cubed minus 5x minus 2. And that answer is acceptable, but it really should be in descending order, right? So I'm going to rewrite it in descending order. So it really should be a negative x cubed plus 5x squared minus 5x minus 2, okay? That's a better answer. The, the first answer is not wrong. It would never be marked wrong. But in proper form, is you do it in descending order. Biggest exponent, biggest exponent, all the way down, OK? Thumbs up. I mean, this stuff we've done before, right? OK. Number four. You can't really call it foil, but if you wanted to, call it the big foil, OK? Call it the big foil. Ready for the big foil? All right, here we go, the big foil. 2x to the fourth plus 4x to the third minus 10x squared. Okay? It's the big foil. We're only one third of the way done. Okay? Now we'll take the 5x and we'll get a 5x cubed, right? Positive 5x cubed, let's put that there. 5x cubed plus 10x squared, let's put that right there. Minus 25x. 
How am I doing? Two thirds of the way done. It's the big foil. Minus 1x squared. I'll put that there. Line them up, right? Line them up. Uh, minus 2x. Positive 5. The big foil. So add all like terms. I'll have a 2x to the 4th plus a 9x cubed minus a 1x squared minus a 27x plus 5. Whew, I'm exhausted. Okay, sample 5. Pascal's triangle. You guys agree? Pascal's. Pascal's triangle. I am not going to multiply this darn thing out five times. That would be a, a real pain. So again, if we're going to do Pascal's triangle, I'm going to go to my fifth row, right? And these are the coefficients I'm going to put in. So I'm going to put a, oh, fourth row, my bad. My bad. Fourth row. <laughs> fourth row. So I'm going to go one, four, six, four, one, okay? And, oh, good, I can see well, okay? So I've got fourth row Pascal's triangle, one, four, six, four, one, right? So far, so good. We know that we're going to get an x to the fourth has to be in the equation, right? x to the fourth has to be in the equation. We'll have an x to the third and a y to the one. Because the exponents have to always add up to four, right? The exponents will always have to add up to four. We'll have an x2, y2. We'll have an x1, y3. And we'll have no x's and a y to the fourth. Plus, 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 plus. And that is the answer. That was actually pretty easy, wasn't it? Pretty easy, okay? All right, thumbs up. All right, turn the page. Okay, here's our hard one, okay? Now, if it's not A's and B's, it gets a little bit tricky, but we're going to make it A's and B's, okay? So I'm going to do this one. I'm gonna let, I'm, we're going to let A equal 2x, and we're going to let B equal negative 3y, okay? Just trust me. Just right off the bat, we're going to change it to A and B, okay? Because we're gonna, this one gets a little bit complex, okay? But if we go slowly, I think we can get it, right? So I'm going to rewrite this problem now as a plus b cubed. Rewrite a plus b cubed. And then I'm going to do the a and the b with Pascal's triangle. When I'm all done with the a and the b, I'm going to plug back in. I'm going to plug back in the 2x and the negative 3x. Okay? Trust me, this is the easiest way to do this problem Okay, because you won't get totally messed up. This can be hard and complicated, but we're going to try to make it easy. Okay, So let's just do what we always do with... Row 3, there's row 3 for Pascal's triangle. We can use the 1, 3, 3, 1, right? I'm going to start there. I'm going to start there with a 1, 3, 3, 1, okay? Start there. I'm going to go A cubed, A squared, B, A, B squared, and a B to the third, right? Plus, 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 okay? Now, this problem really doesn't have to do with A's and B's, correct? It really has to do with 2X's and 3Y's. So what I'm going to do is put that back in, because the problem has to do with X's and Y's. So I'm going to put that back in. So what I have is a 1 times a 2X cubed. So all I did, all I did is I substituted what A was. A was up here, 2X. Okay, So I put the 2X in for A cubed, okay? Then plus a 3 a squared, but we know A is 2x squared. And I'll put B in, not B anymore, but what B is, which is a negative 3y, okay? As long as we're careful, we'll get this problem. Plus 3, and I'm not going to write A anymore, but I'm going to substitute what A is. A is really a 2x, okay? So instead of writing A, let's write 2x. And then B squared, let's write the negative 3y 
squared. So sorry, in b squared, I just wrote the negative 3y in 4b. And then plus a 1, and instead of writing b, let's write a negative 3y cubed, okay? So far, so good. Now, this is the right answer. This is actually correct, but what a mess, huh? It is a mess. So let's do some math, okay? And everybody's got to be watching. Don't write anything down. Watch. 2 cubed is 8. Do you see it? 2 cubed is 8. So I have a 1 times an 8x cubed. I don't need the 1, but I put it there. Okay, everybody okay with the 8? Are you okay with the 8? Okay, plus 3. Everybody watching? 2 squared is 4, right? 2 squared is 4, so I'm going to have a 4 x squared, 4 squared times my negative 3y, okay? How am I doing, okay? Told you this was the hard one, okay? Plus, oh, I already put those in, didn't I? Well, but guess simplified. 3 times my 2x, negative 3 squared is a positive 9, right? It's a positive 9y squared plus 1 times negative 3 cubed, negative 3 times negative 3 is positive 9, times negative 3 is a negative 27y cubed. Okay, we're almost done. We're getting close. Okay, we're getting close. So, yeah, go ahead, Renee. How come one tiny little problem that? Um, great question. Can I answer it when I'm done? Really, I mean, I will answer it when I'm done, okay? So then I'm going to have an 8x cubed, right? 1 times 8. I'm going to have a 3 times 4 is 12. 3 times 4 is 12 times a negative 3 is a negative 36. 3 times 4 is 12 times a negative 3 is a negative 36x squared y. Okay. 3 times 2 is 6 times 9 is 54. 3 times 2 is 6 times 9 is 54x y squared. And then finally, 1 times negative 27 is a negative 27y cubed. Okay, and Renee, I'm going to answer your question here in just a minute, okay? Okay, now, which is more complex? Writing 2x minus 3y, 2x minus 3y, 2x minus 3y, and foiling, 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 foiling. It's up to you. At a certain point, Pascal's triangle really pays off. This is one of those ones where since it's just to the third power, maybe it's easy for you to do a big foil, okay? Maybe. But if it gets up to the fourth power or up to the fifth power, oh my goodness, I'd much rather use Pascal's triangle, okay? All right, so there's, I think there's only one big ugly one, and that's number 17. All the rest are pretty okay. I don't think I'll have too many troubles, okay? So 